in every language Allah he sent a prophet to speak to them so if Allah he sent a prophet in every language and Muslims approve that this is mean India alone should have tons of thousands of prophets same in Africa same all over the world and if we count how many languages the languages in this earth we will see there are hundreds of thousands of languages and when the Quran says we send the prophet to every nation with their own language it is mean the Quran saying to us that you know what all languages Allah has sent the prophets speaking them and this is not a true because 123,999 is not enough to cover all the languages around the world it's true that we knew there is some languages uh, uh, you know like they are the major they are all over the world but that's, this is, doesn't mean that this is all the languages and this is a proof to us again that you're a prophet when he say that every nation has a prophet speaking in their own language and this is a proof for people who are asking maybe they are wondering what I'm talking about this is Surah 14 verse number 4 we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language to his own people you see it guys? to teach in the language of his own people so if we go to any tribe in Africa it means there is a prophet from them who came to them there is small tribes even in Amazon you know the Amazon? the Amazon they have millions of, of tribes many of this you know they, they, was, they were, not, were not you know even eating, eating a human being not, not long time ago even until now some of them still do they have no idea nobody knows who they are even because they are in the jungles they are not civil so those people are included because the Quran is saying to everyone to every nation speaking in their own languages so this is your prophet exaggerating saying lies saying Allah is saying to every nation a prophet speak the language of that nation and you know what before I give you the mic Mr. Nair Akbar if you look with me about this verse in here you will see that every prophet he came to teach his own people in his own language this is mean the Quran is wrong when he said that Muhammad is the messenger of all nations why? because he came to teach his people by his language not other people you got my point? your mic Alright, so yes, I uh, hope you guys are hearing. Uh, yes, the um, uh, Quran does say that every uh, nation was uh, given um, uh, a prophet, a messenger. And if you think about it, okay, uh, in, in, from the, the, in the time of the prophet, okay, the amount of languages we have today is not exactly the same as they had back then. As a matter of fact, you, you, you yourself will know that uh, languages have been born and died. Uh, like for instance, Aramaic, you know, is a language that was spoken by Jesus, but it's not spoken uh, in today's time at all. You know, so the the, the thing is that um, uh, you know. Um, Every nation did get a prophet, okay? Now, does that necessarily mean that they, when the prophet came to them, it was written down? No, it does not. I mean, there's the only four books that are written in the Quran that are, you know, books that were revealed. It's the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the Quran. 
Okay, those are the only books that were, were, were written down. All right, so the other messages that were given to the people is not, it, you know, it's not that it was written down so that uh, the people have it, um, you know, for the future, okay? So the other prophets came and gave messages. Like, for instance, we believe that, that Lot al-Islam was in, indeed a, a prophet of God. You know, there's no um, written record, no, no books associated with him, but he's a prophet. Prophet of God, okay. Um, Mo, uh, Noah al-Islam was also a, a prophet of God. You don't see any books that is written, you know, um, by Noah or you know in his time for his people. Okay, so the point that I'm pointing out to you is that prophets did go to every nation, okay, and um, therefore, uh, you know, they, they, there is a, what someone says that they speak Aramaic. <laughs> that, that's interesting. Um, like I said, every every uh, 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 nation did have a prophet. There, there's no. Uh, um, I, I don't see how, how how you can understand that. I mean, from from the, the creation of mankind to um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, every nation did receive a prophet. We talked about India with all of the Bavarian language. They also have almost the same religion throughout the country. You didn't mention that, did you? Why why didn't you mention that? The reason that they had the same religion throughout the entire country was because at one point in time they were all communicating with each other. Okay? So therefore, um, it, 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 you know, um, what you call it? Uh, um, it's, uh, uh, what I think? Okay. Um, yeah, I forgot, uh, I lost my train, I thought I was uh, reading that this person just keeps saying that he speaks Aramaic. Great for you, I, you're the first person that I know that speaks Aramaic. I haven't heard of too many people speaking Aramaic. Alright, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so yeah, so basically my point is this thing that, you know, the Quran does mention this and there's no need for, uh, you know, um, me to give you the name of a prophet or whatever. It's, you know, if you look at the different uh, teachings, even if you read the, the Hindu scriptures, okay, you go read the Hindu scriptures, it talks about one divine being. Now the Christians, I mean, the, the Hindus deviated from that and, uh, you know, started uh, praying to all of the various uh, deities and said, yeah, but you go back to their, their book, which was written like 1400, uh, uh, 4,000 4, years ago and it talks about there being one divine being so it's it's you know if, if you take that you know it, it uh, it's it's good enough proof that you know at one point in time they did believe that there was only one God and it deviated just like the people in Mecca you know they believe that Abraham and Ishmael are prophets of, you know of God but they deviated from that and started uh, worshiping all the idols etc etc so um, again the, therefore you know uh, I think I've answered that question well enough I don't think I need to go any further with that so your yeah, mic Uh, first, you said the Aramaic is dead language, you are absolutely dead wrong, there's tons of millions who speak Aramaic. And maybe, uh, this is why you are a Muslim now, Akbar, because if you know, you will never be a Muslim. This is the prayer that's been taught by Jesus Christ as it is in Aramaic. Listen carefully. I can, uh, you know, I can, I can, you know, those people they are living today, and you know what, the half of this room who they are from the Middle East, they speak Aramaic. You will be surprised. If you want me to invite anyone, and even me, if you want me to speak uh, uh, Aramaic to you, I will be happy. You know, and you know what, let me teach you some Aramaic. You yourself, you speak Aramaic, but you don't know. Don't you know that the word Amin is in Aramaic? Don't you know? You Muslims, you hijack it from my book. And you know what? As long we are talking about hijacking teaching from our book, 
I want to show you something. You might be surprised when you see it. To show you that Surah Quran has been stolen even from our Bible. And you have no book. As long as we would go there, you know, I wasn't planning to go there, but you know what, I have no problem because I'm always ready. This is Surah from the Quran. Open the Surah. I read for me, please. Tell me what the Surah is saying in there. And I will post to you from my Bible. I will post the story of the ten bride 